Ah, hello, welcome to Dusty Shop. Where bad decisions are rabid and planning is lacking. So, don't do what we do. Well, you can try it. Have fun with it. You know, do the YouTube. Alright, folks, here we go. Uh, this is our club car. Golf car. Because that one just gave me all kinds of problems keeping it running. But, uh, yeah, putting the, the fuel cutout valve is not in a good spot. So nobody cuts the fuel out, so we flooded the engine with gasoline. Yep. Yep. So, I'm going to try to change it. Alright, here we go. Here's the old drain plug. Here's what you get. The little, little bugger looks like underneath the deal. So, yeah. I'm going to drain it all. Come out here. I'm going to get rid of this gas tank. Um, put some oil in it. Change the plug. And, uh, yeah. The, the, yeah, make it happen. See if we hurt the engine. Hold on to replace the engine. Yeah, it's going to suck. It's not exactly the easiest thing to get an engine in and out of. So, alright, here we go. Now, let's see if we can't find some wrenches. Get that old drain plug off. Maybe. 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 No. No. Not gonna be that simple. Could it be a 10? Somewhere I know amongst this pile of, every, of all this stuff I got. Metro sockets. <clears throat> nope. Sure. Let's get a metric socket. Still trying them. Oh, let's see what we got here. There's the magic wand. See what kind of mess we can make on the old left here. This is just the easiest thing in the world to change the oil on. You might have let a ratchet ride. Mm, it's more like gasoline. I can see the gasoline. That's a whole lot of terrible. And that's done. We'll leave that up for a few minutes. Step two. Like I said, big boy, let's go put a let's put a, a little puck on this thing. Oh, 
good old. And then it gets as loud. Oops! <coughs> Only that. Yeah, I'll leave this thing didn't make it. It didn't. This thing did not make it. Ugh. Yeah. Oop. Now I'm pouring gasoline all over everything. Yeah, but they have to get that thing out of there. I'm a little short on hose. Of course, we can do some goofy stuff. And Add more, add more hose to it. Ah! Or I can just get it out. Okay. Yeah, we won't be using those things. Let's see here. So if you ever do one of these swaps on these Duro Maxes, any of these golf carts, which, you know, I do, obviously I've done it. Uh, yeah, one of the things they don't tell you is, is uh, it does run good and it's fast, but you got to put a manual choke in it. And that's what that monstrosity right there is. That's my manual choke. It runs up to that little lever right there. So you can choke this, the silly ass thing, because every time you first start it, you got to choke it. After that, yeah, usually you don't have to. Sometimes you do. But, at first, you do have to choke it. And it's usually, yeah, a pain. Oh, yeah, what is that? That is vacuum line, not fuel line. Let's use that. That'll work. That's going to work. Need a little piece of that. What's that? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fuel line. That bad boy is brittle. But we're gonna steal the hose clamp. I'm gonna use them. Yeah. Well, vacuum line be fine. Looks like that's what's on there for the fuel tank. I might have done that too. I did do that. There's no motto. I did do that. Uh, we'll slip this in right here. Oh man, I don't know about that. Uh, second thoughts. Let's go over to where I have a pile of, of all this stuff. Oh, here we go. Fuel line. Oh, man. I had some. Just too lazy to walk over here and get some. Oh, look at that. There's even a little hose clamp. Man. Being a slob sometimes it pays off. You just got crap laying all over the place. Okay. Perfect. I don't know why I'm... Well, well. Oh, one clean fuel filter. Let's install the fuel filter the proper way. Yeah. Okay, where's where's the cutters? I know there's some cutters laying around here. There's some cutters. Nope, no cutters. Okay. Get out the trusty pocket knife. I need to shorten this up a little a lot. Okay. Throw that over there. Don't need that right now. I'll need that here in a second. I'm gonna go to the other fuel line. I'm gonna set that fuel line. Oh, will that fit on there? 
please fit. Please fit. <clears throat> yeah, it's not liking it. We're going to make it work. Ah, there we go. All right. So, I think we're just going to go to the right. There you go. You know, I just measured that, and now I let it go, and so I don't know. So, we're going to go right, right, right there. Let's get to do this. Do I really need a hose clamp? Probably not. So, yeah, this thing was kind of a jo joy to get the engine to run, right? It's been a little bit of a, a little bit of a learning curve or some stuff. Because if you YouTube this stuff, maybe that's who does them. <clears throat> but like I said, it runs fast when this thing's running. It's running fast. It's a little choppy at idle, but it does run fast. The other thing I got to do is we got to put on a, uh, you know, the old, uh, where's the pen? Where's the marker? I got markers. Uh, lots of markers. There we go. There's a marker. So, <clears throat> there is one down there, way down there, but uh, it's kind of hard to get to, and so I had to put another one on there. So there's my old Riley goodies. I've had this plug. Ooh, I didn't even plug in very well. Spark plug wire in very good. Plug in. Oh, it's not even tight. Oh, no, yeah, it is. Ah. I'm gonna go get a. Oh! And put my ratchet over here because we were training the oh, oh actually you can see over here better <laughs> how about that <laughs> oh yeah right in that stuff ain't that just magnificent Go. Where would the gap supposed to be? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, look at that. That is just, yeah, nope. Pretty nasty. Uh, eh. A little too tight a gap for me. Where's my little gap? Oh, look at that. I got a gap or two out here. Yeah. And again, being lazy sometimes is nice. What do we got? I'm gonna say let's go forty five. Sounds like a good number. Oh yeah, yeah. The shiny stuff. Don't put this stuff on there. Even in these little engines. Yeah, I'll turn chrome. Yuck. And you'll end up fighting this. That'd be the dum dum changing the next time. Yeah, just get it on the left side. It's fine. Looks just fine. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm 
come down here. Bring y'all in for the trip. I'll put the old drain plug back in here and I will fish out my uh, beloved spark plug socket I just dropped in that nasty ass oil. The other thing I gotta remember is what did I do with that flexible uh, funnel I had? I put oil in this thing. Yes, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where that is. And it makes a mess underneath here. change the battery. Uh, new toy. I ain't learned how to use it yet, so on. Right. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this gas tank. It's kind of pain in the butt. I don't like it. So, I don't know where the bolts are. So, let's cut the strap. If I ever want to put it, no, I'll never put it back to like it was because my gas tank is right there. Nice aluminum one. Yes, it's not doesn't hold as much fuel. But for my household, uh, it works better. This is definitely stainless steel. Yep. Seen better days. Ah, ha, ha, success. my way to them. Huh. I bet you're supposed to take the body off. Yeah. Okay. I got to cut loose. Looks like it's where it's supposed to be. Caps on. Get my tools. Get that out of the way. I'll work on that. Beloved. Beloved gas tank here in a little bit. I may cut that ugly thing under there. I don't know. I don't know what to do. What should I do? So, what I'm going to do, 
Oil change, fuel filter in. Let's go do a test drive. One must always test the repairs to make sure you did it right. But no problem. And like I said, we use this thing a lot. That is more gasoline than anything else. I think the uh, viscosity levels in that, oh, it's, oh, it's just a wonder, that wonderful fragrance of gasoline and bad oil. Now we come. Woo! Hit the ground. Safety latch. Okay. So turn the fuel on. Go there. I broke off. Your seat back on. So we have another horn for this thing they want me to put on. What the hell is it? Oh, Christ. Ah, there we go. Let's see what it does. This thing's got dual shutoffs, and I just shut the other one off too. Let's see what that does. Come on, I'm gonna get fuel. I do believe the shoe's fixed. So, while we're here, and they're bugging me. Yeah. <laughs> Success. So, shut the damn fuel off. Right there. Yeah, deer feeder. Yep. Not what I use it for. Where'd that stupid horn go? Aha! Uh -huh, there it is! Oh man, I even got it fused. Man. I'm good. Not really. Just kidding. Alright, we didn't blow up the engine. Thank God. Because one, I was going to go with a bigger one. I don't know how big an engine I can shove in here. 
but uh, I was willing to find out. Well, let's see here. This silly thing can't cannot get wet for some reason. So I'll put it over here by the battery where I can beat it up. Where to? I had to put it over there. So let's do the right thing. Let's get a sawzall. Let's cut the tank out. Oh man, it goes down in there. Oh, that's why. Yeah, you gotta lift the body off. Yeah, fuck that shit. What are you doing that? Just see the pain in the ass. Plus, I have to dig all the roof. Oh, that's a lot. Nah. No. We're gonna do the right thing. I'm digging right here by the fill mac. Yep, there it goes. There's the gas I'm looking for. But I can't see anything. This is not a normal. This is kind of I think it's coming out. It's coming out. I want the space. I don't know what for, but I want it. Oh, that's fine. 
did an amazing job. Now this thing to be a lopsided dog for forever. I got a pile of, yeah, garbage. I might be able to use do that. Something later down the road. Some other, probably one owner that needs. Man, that was more work than it needed to be. So. Time for the last thing for the old uh, goofy. There's some people in my household that are a fan of this particular goofy movie. What are the odds I, uh, I snapped that off? I'm gonna go with pretty good. Pretty good odds. Pretty good. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Why it was there, I have no idea. I know I put it there for something. And now it's going to hold this. Oops. Look at your big clod hoppers off of there. Let's see here. Full extension. So we're giving the old, uh, the old card a little love. Oops, probably got to put a washer on that. I think that might just, you know, as you as you can tell by the video, uh, I drive a little. I drive it a little aggressive. Not aggressive. Uh, and we put a washer on it. I'll lock the thing will fall off and then they'll be upset because they're a little goofy, goofy thing. Oh, huh. how about that? That <laughs> works good. Looks like I go buy some more washers. Looks like I'm getting a little thin. Okay, so we got this here. This is, this is, yeah. Nope. It's just, just like it's supposed to. Here's some bad wiring 101. For sure. I mean, really, how much can I really hurt it? Because I got that goofy thing I built. And that thing is just crazy weird. There's that. I'm gonna go over there and see if I can't find one of them. deals. Well, this has been fun, but I do believe I had enough. Tight. 
Oh yeah. Try to turn up your finger, dum dum. It's a little fatter. Does it still work? Yeah, that's it. Jeepers Creepers. Well, you know what I said at the beginning of these videos? Uh, bad decisions are rabid. Yeah, here's a whole lot of it. Whole trailer load of bad decisions. So I got a little, little MG. Yep. What's left of one? And a Ford Falcon. Um, here's the crazy part of this car. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, we'll call this thing Fred Funstone. I'm gonna call it Fred. Cause uh, yeah. There ain't no floor. Woo! That's just crazy. Yeah, that door shuts. Perfect. Well, these don't even shut. Well, they don't stay shut. So, yeah, this is how I got it. Right here. On the trailer. On the flatbed. There's the nose of it. Oh, dooley. Yep. Yep. All that. Yep, right there. So, and yes, it's sitting on ramps. You get over the top of the jack. I don't know. What do you think of the little midget? I don't know about this thing. It's got a lot of... A lot of bondo. Lots of bondo. Cool paint job. Lots of bondo. We might play around. I got. An, I do have an airbrush. Man, I can't believe that. That is just wicked crazy. All right. Well, on adventures for today. All right. Well, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. And uh, you know, usual YouTube stuff. You can catch us on Facebook. We have a Facebook page now. Man, how about that? All right. Thanks for watching.